I will be trying 10 sports in 10 days. For each sport, I will be tested on various skills, and after some training, we will see if I was able to make any improvements. Starting off with swimming. Hello. This is my coach. I'm so excited. What's your experience? I did swimming in PE. Good enough. Let's see where you're at. Here are my goggles. We're going to go a 50-yard freestyle. You're going to go as fast as you can just to see where you're at. Jake and I are going to keep the time. Oh, it's cold. I think I'm going to have to jump in and save her. Three, two, one, go! Time has started. She's off to a very extremely fast start. I was never the best swimmer, and immediately I could tell this is going to be tough. Go, Michelle, go! Wait, what's happening? Dog She's in. I think I'm going to have to jump in. Michelle! It's already 50 seconds. I'm so tired. She's doing a backstroke now. She's doing a backstroke. You got this, Michelle. Oh, I'm sorry. I was struggling so much that Zach had to jump in to help me. Does this count for her time? Go, Michelle, you got it. And time. One minute and 54 seconds. I'm pretty sure that's not good. The record for girls for eight laps is one minute and 39 seconds, and it took me almost two minutes just to do one. I have a long ways to go. You did well, Michelle. I think Zach is lying. I was crying about halfway. My arms got tired, so I flipped backwards and tried to flow. And then I needed Zach to jump in and save me. I just can't go anymore. Michelle, remember, just keep swimming. I don't think Michelle did bad for her first try. She didn't have the endurance yet. I think the goal for this this might not be to hit a super fast speed, but I'd be very proud if she can at least go there and back just swimming freestyle. I want to show the viewers how fast my coach can go. I haven't swam competitively in like six or seven years. I might be kind of rusty. Go! Oh, he's so fast! Nine seconds and he's turning! It's only been 10 seconds and he's already swimming back. Bro, 23 seconds! Not bad. First thing I notice is your hips sink really low. Tend to go like this. Engage your core. Watch when I swim with everything tight. My hips come up to the surface. You're best, Michelle. I tried Zach's advice about keeping my hips up, and immediately I could feel the difference. That already looks a lot better. Let's practice what you do off the wall. Get in a streamlined position like okay. this. Push off. It seems really complicated, but he makes it look so easy. All right, let's do this. I think Zach is a really good coach. I just need a break every like five minutes. Something's really hard. I'm really hoping by the end of the lesson that I can make it through two laps all the way through. Nice, Michelle. Nice. I think that if Michelle was also wearing the bald cap, she would be swimming just as fast as Zach. Also, uh, seeing her struggle so much with the first sport makes me wonder how she's going to do for the rest of them. I just farted underwater. We're gonna practice your kicking a little bit. Have it extended like this so you can kick up and down. Like a ballet Jump. dancer. You wanna keep it nice, narrow, and quick. I don't normally like to do cardio, and this is a lot of cardio. The next thing Zach is about to teach me is the thing I'm dreading the most. Oh, no. Zach, I'm really scared. You got it, Michelle. Yeah, I don't like diving. <laughs> Let's try one more time. I'm running away, I'm running away. I'll show you the easier way to do it. Dive in like that. Oh, that's harder than I expected. I'm so nervous about my final test. I have to pee really bad. Am I allowed to pee in a pool? What are the tips for my final test? Don't sprint. Pretty easy your way into it. You need to maintain that pace. Your goal faster than 140. You ready? Get set. Go! Go, Michelle, go! Hips up, hips up! On her first run, she would have already taken a break. She's still doing freestyle. All right, go, Michelle. Hard push, hard push. Keep going, you gotta keep going. No Michelle, you're almost there. All the way, all the way. Kick, kick, kick. kick. And Time! 102! Yes! 102! Jump 40 seconds! Woo! Zach's technique helped a lot! You swam the entire way! I swam the entire way! Let's go! I'm not even that tired! Well, you should again. be tired. It was an all-out sprint. Let's go again! When I first started off, I couldn't even make two laps. I, I just did two laps of freestyle and I'm so happy! To the next sport! Belly flow transition! And that was just the first sport. We still have nine more sports to learn, and let's just say some of them get pretty insane. The next sport is track! <laughs> and these are my coaches! We are not certified whatsoever. I did track for a year. The first test I'm doing is a 100 meter hurdle. I just hope I don't trip. I feel confident in my coach. I feel confident in my skills. I'm ready for today. I don't know why you're so confident in me, but let's go. So you kind of start like this and then get set and then You don't like want to go straight up. Push your body forward. Let's see how we do. Get set, ah! go! Ah! That's so scary! <laughs> Track is the complete opposite of swimming, and it was very difficult in a different way. <laughs> You're almost there! <laughs> ah, ah, woo! That was a lot of pressure! Your time was 53 seconds. What's like the average? Not that. After doing the hurdles, I don't feel so confident. I just had a sausage egg muffin. That's not a good idea. So I'm gonna do the 200 meter dash. I'm gonna bring up my track coach voice. Come on, Michelle, you better run! Get set, go. <laughs> Come on! Go! I'm going!
through! Run through! Run through! I think we have a lot of room for improvement. That was 54 seconds. Woo! All right, I'm ready for the training. So the first thing we're gonna do to warm up, two laps around the track. Oh, huh? all right, I guess I'm starting. Woo! Go, Michelle! We're such yeah. good coaches. Yeah. How does my hair look? Don't do that with your arm. I don't think I'll do this for fun. I don't know, I feel like I'm keeping up when I'm just doing a little brisk walk. I'm really, really tired. My feet can't lift up anymore. All right, so now we're gonna do some high knees. Ready, go. Bop, bop, bop. Driver, Michelle. <laughs> That looked more like a gallop, but it's okay. Oh butt kicks back, make sure you kick the butt. Oh, my butt hurts. And now we're gonna do karaoke. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I feel like she's trying, but she's not trying hard enough. I'm already so tired, but we've only done the warm ups. All right, that was better. You really wanna stretch this area for those hurdles, I think. Uh -huh. I love stretching. What's the first thing I need to know for hurdles? You want to run over and through the hurdles. You don't want to jump over them. That's insane. Nice. 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 Okay, I can do that. We are good coaches. Okay, you're like stuttering. Run all the way through. Jumping over these hurdles is pretty terrifying. Nope. nope. I feel like I'm going to fall on my face. Yeah. I feel like we need to give her some actual running tips first. Make sure you're running on your toes. Toes. Slice through the air. Slice through the air. Arm stride, knee high, toes. Okay. <laughs> All right, now get out there, champ. Go. Run, straight through. Nice. 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 Again. Nice. Yeah. That was your best run so far. Yeah. I didn't forget to breathe. So you need to breathe. That's like step number uno. I'm so nervous for this big test. Uh, uh, uh. How anxious gas. Now it's time to see if I improve my time. Get set, go! Go! Run! 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 Keep going! Run through the last one! Let's go! Run! Run! 19! She did an amazing job! My time for jumping the hurdles was a vast improvement over my previous time. Let's see if I can do that with the 200 meter dash. This is the hardest sport so far. Running is tough. Get set, go! Dying afterwards. I did. I did. You. Bring your legs up like that. Oh my god, I can't breathe. Wait, what's the time? 34 seconds. Whoa! I improved my time by over 20 seconds. Good job, Michelle. Nice job, Michelle. That's the end of this sport. I don't know why. For the next sport, baseball. I have my videographer David as my coach. Boom. I've never played baseball. We're gonna start off with some grounders, fly balls, and then we'll see how she can hit. I have no idea what any of that meant, but let's do this. I have a pretty bad feeling about this. Ah! 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 It's honestly not terrible. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. Having the ball come at me is so scary. One more, let me get a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you fly balls and you gotta try and catch it. Ah! That's not bad. That's pretty bad. Ah! Ah! One more! Ah! I did it. That's pretty good. We're gonna make her a lot better though. Catching was very scary. Batting should be fun. I'm ready! Ah! Ah! I think Michelle's actually doing a lot better than I was expecting. I honestly didn't expect her to hit the ball at all. I hit three out of 10. That's 30%. Actually, wait, that's failing. We're just gonna start by playing catch. You bring the ball back and then you throw it like that. You just put sunflower yeah, seeds on me. Yeah, this is baseball. Put them in your bottom lip and you chew the seed and then you spit out like the shell. No, <laughs> not like that. Okay. No, not. Oh! And with some practice, I could see that my catching was improving. Look at that. Ah! That was perfect. We're gonna try and get five in a row. If you mess up, you're gonna run the bases. No! Ooh. Let's go! I think this is a good way for her to really learn, but I have a feeling she's gonna be running these bases multiple more times today. All right, Michelle, five in a row. <laughs> Randomly, she's thrown it 10 feet over my head. Maybe I need some sunflower seeds. <laughs> five in a row. Boom, there it is, Boom. five. Woo! I did it! I'm gonna show you how to ground the ball. Squat. squat your hands there to stop it. And then squat low and like throw. That. Good. Throw! Mitt on the ground, Michelle. Mitt on the ground. Absolutely perfect. Ah! I have upgraded to next class. Catching fly balls. What happens when it hits your face? It doesn't. You're okay. going to catch it. Get underneath of it, and then it lands right in front of my face. It's like that. I'm actually very, very scared of the ball. I don't want it to hit my face. It's scary! Don't be scared! I'm not afraid! Ah! 
<laughs> Let's do some batting now. Love touch. Bang. Love touch. The key is turning your hips. Right here, and that's where you want to hit it, and then you'll follow through. Yep. She's definitely improved a lot. If not, she's just going to be running laps. All right, last one. Nice. Uh, Time for a real test. Batter, Munchie. One. Three of three. Oh. If you get 10 of 10, I will run a lap. Aww. Let's go. That's so good, Michelle. That was exhilarating. I went from an F to an A. Now time for the harder test, catching the ball. If you get five of five of the grounders or fly balls, I'll run a lap. <laughs> Nice. After all this practice, everything started to feel pretty natural. <laughs> she clearly is able to ground pretty fast ground balls. Her biggest problem is just getting the ball to first base. Woo! I got four out of five. Pretty happy. Ah! Come on! I guess I'll run my lap. No! Faster! Faster! Seeing my coach run was pretty rewarding. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, to the next sport. Next up, I'm going to learn basketball, and Ben's going to teach me. Coach Ben. Are you nervous? Yeah. Quiet! <laughs> Ben's a mean coach. Michelle doesn't even have basketball shoes. At least she's got the shorts, but she needs shoes. Need basketball shoes. Let's see where your shooting's at. Okay, you want to have these two fingers lined up with the center of the ball. When you spin it, the direction your two fingers go is the direction the ball is going to go. Okay. Use your legs and then extend up, up and through. That's perfect. I'm really nervous for this pass. My only experience with basketball is when Zach asked me to get his rebounds. You got to use your legs. Close! Damn, shit. Michelle's not bad, actually. Shoot. She's shooting 40%, which is average for most of the NBA players. Now let's see your dribbling. Come down with it, come back up. I'm I think dribbling, you're doing well. Guys. Dribble, cross. Oh, this is not bad at all. So wide base, it's just like the crossover. It's just your legs are just forward. Dribble, ooh, Like dribbling could definitely use some work. Ooh. We're just gonna skip the dribbling and just go to defense. <laughs> right now I'm not feeling really good about myself. But at the same time, I'm learning. Michelle, what was that? I call it the jumping jack. We're not gonna talk about the dribbling, but I think the defense is there. Shell's pretty athletic. There we go, one stop, Michelle. Woo! What? <laughs> there was no effort, Michelle. The defense was so tiring, I started to break down. Michelle, that is not how we play defense. That is a foul. I saw no effort. Go run a lap. I need you back here in 20 seconds. 16, 11, 10. All right, that's fine. <laughs> All right, Michelle, let me teach you some defensive tricks. You want to shade this way. You want to slide. Cut them off here. Slide, slide. Slide, slide, slide. So if Zach gets past me, you turn, you sprint, and then you cut them off. Slide, slide. And the last thing, be physical. Oh, Michelle knows That's how good. to be physical That's all good. right. You can bump him and then slide. Bump, slide. We're going to go game speed now. Dribble, dribble. Lay up, lay up. Trying to put all these skills together was quite hard. Shoot. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah. I didn't even teach Michelle how to use a screen yet. Yeah. And she just did it instinctively. I was just running around to lose that. This is a lot more tiring than I thought it was going to be. Now it's time to see if all my practice paid off. Starting off with shooting, make at least three out of five. Nice, Michelle. Remembering everything I've learned, I could feel a big difference with the ball leaving my hand on each shot. Oh! The bank is open today! You made three for five! Let's see your defense. If she just gets at least one stop, I'll be happy. If she gets more than one stop, I can die happy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and she scored! That was amazing! Sprint, sprint, sprint! Two stops! Two, baby! Three stops! Even though defense is so tiring, I think I improved a decent bit. Slide! Oh, one more! It's actually not that easy to score on Michelle. Slide, slide, slide! Oh. Four out of five stops. That was harder than I thought. The ultimate test is if she can stop Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang it. Good team, Michelle. Wow. You can play basketball with Zach now. Michelle exceeded expectations. I am very proud of her. I think I'm done with basketball for the rest of my life. On to the next sport. Beep. The next sport. Football. This is my coach. Four. Put your pads on. I didn't do anything. Come on, just, there we go. Cool. Wow, I feel sturdy. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Ah. Cool. Ah. Bigger scream. Ah. Ah. I like this because it's covering my pimple. Main things in football: catching, throwing, reaction. Ow! I think the number one thing I need to work on is not be afraid of the ball. But this is scary when it's coming at you. Ah. 
There we go. Let's do how far you throw and then we'll do accuracy. In the previous sport, I learned how to throw a baseball, so I think it's the same thing. <laughs> About 10 yards. A football is much heavier than a baseball, that's for sure. Now we're doing an accuracy test. <laughs> At least we have a lot of room for improvement, that's great. And the final test, reaction. Down, set, go! I'm not a good football player. I'm scared of catching a ball. I can't throw the ball. I can't tackle. Yeah! My little five-year-old niece would tackle that bag harder than you, Michelle. Kind of expected it to go this way. Michelle's very kind, not very aggressive. I have a lot to learn yeah, this one. On. All right, let's start off with throwing, okay? Put my fingers on the laces like this. Exactly, yeah. When you're throwing the ball, think about like flicking a booger. Oh, like... I see what you mean. Each sport is so different in their own way that even just throwing a ball requires its own unique skill. One, two, three. Go farther. I feel really confident about throwing. That's better. She looks like she knows what she's doing. I think that's what's important. Way better than Charles. No offense, Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't see with the helmet. You're catching a football? Diamond. Ready. Nice. Yeah. Let's do five. If you drop a ball, you're going to have to do up downs. I'm not dropping the ball. Oh my god, I almost lost it. Oh, so scary. Get your feet going. Chop your feet. One. One. Ah. 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 I don't want to do them again. I will catch this no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Football is so liberating. All right, let's teach you how to tackle this bag correctly. Your eyes are always up. Ah. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Keep your head up, explode through the bag. It's better, it's just not aggressive at all. If you couldn't tell from this whole video, I'm not a very athletic person. <laughs> Good enough. I can't get off. All right, final test. Double the distance. Double the distance. Now let's move on to accuracy. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna give you three tries. Give me like one tackle I think is solid. I need a grunt if I want to be aggressive. Huh, huh, huh. Subscribe to Miss Muchie. Ah! Ooh. I slipped. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ah! Ah! Oh. That was really good. She ran through the bag. Ah! All right, next up, I have to catch. Well, I barely caught that one. What was that? Get it moving. No, no. I never want to see you throw the football with two hands again, Munchie. No. 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 <laughs> this coach is tough. Everything was looking good until this happened. Are you okay? Oh, that one threw. Oh. I think it's time for the next sport. For the next sport, math. I didn't even know math was a sport. We're gonna play math pop while I talk about math makers. First, the three points win. One point, two point, three. Let me go first. I'm clearly at a disadvantage here. Oh, math makers has launched a new update which includes number lines math tools. Number lines helps kids understand abstract math concepts and better relations between numbers. Yes! 361 divided by 19. 19. I have two points now. The new update on Math Makers also features a new set of characters, focusing on the lizard who has to help his idol, the dragon scientist, by making sure her tool makes it back to her. Oh! Hey! Oh <laughs> no! You can do it, you can do it! Time's up. 143. I had no chance in a math competition versus Michelle. All right, we'll go download Math Makers. On to the next sport. For the next sport, boxing. And I have Coach Tessa to help me. I am Tessa. I am the co-owner here at Austin Kickboxing Academy. I used to fight professionally as well, and now I just share my passion with everybody else. I'm excited. So first we have to wrap. I gotta protect my palms from my nails. Ready. Gloves. We're gonna see how powerful I can punch. And I have a special guest. Ready okay. to go to the Met Gala. I'm so scared. Three, two, one. Here. Help that in my uterus. You can punch harder! That's the best I can do! We're gonna shadow box. Throw punches. Pretend someone's in front of you. Move around. Bam! 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 What is that? Throw punch. After getting hit too, oh, what are you no. gonna do? Wait, this is so awkward! <laughs> you stopped hitting! Don't turn around! Don't run like that! Alright, time! You just started Michelle, running around so like a scared. chicken! There's a lot of pressure! We're gonna do a speed test. Hands up, turn your fist over. I never thought that punching would be so tiring. Oh, 
58. <laughs> what do you think, coach? Professional fighter would get at least double, if not more. Ooh, good thing I'm a beginner. Jump rope next. Oh, I get it. I have a lot to learn. What is this? This is an agility ladder. Hands up, step, step. One, two. I feel really good. The first few times I was not very confident. There was a lot to remember. The last round I felt really confident. This is so much fun. I feel so powerful. Bounce on your toes a little bit. The bag's gonna start to swing. Hit it again as it's coming back towards your punch. <laughs> It got harder because now there's more things to keep in mind. Step, jab, breathe, step, punch, cross punch, breathe. This is way harder than basketball. This is way more fun though. Now we're gonna move on to focus mitts. It's so crazy how much skill goes into boxing. I thought it was just about punching, but I'm learning that it's so much more than that. Even my venting got better. Yeah, you hear that? I'm gonna have to let Michelle win every cross video now because I don't want her to beat me up. I'm scared she's gonna knock me flat on my bum. Now you're gonna throw a hook. Elbow up, pivot that front foot. Now we're gonna add the uppercut. There you go. Michelle is popping off. She's literally Chun Li, she looks so good. I think I would take another class. This is so fun. Ah, yeah, good job. I feel like I learned a lot. I'm ready for the final test. All right, one, two, right here. What? Oh, that was good! Yeah, that was good! You're hitting me right in the oh. nipple! Nice! That breathe out, good. breathe out when you punch! Yeah! yeah. yeah. If I wasn't wearing this, I'd be flat on my butt right now. Time for the final speed test. Turn your fist over. Really helped so much. 114. I feel good about that. For the last test, I'm going to be sparring with Mackenzie. In this corner, we have the reigning champion, the gorgeous Miss Munchie. Ah. And then in this corner, we have the bloodthirsty craft queen, Mackenzie Bell. Yeah! No dirty shots, touch gloves. Oh, oh. To your corners, go! Yeah. Once we started going, I immediately forgot everything I've learned. <laughs> my contacts. You can see towards the end how much better her punches were. I think she did great seeing her from the beginning all the way till the end. Let's go to the next sport. For the next sport, volleyball. I have Coach Nika to help me. My name is Nika Borch, director of Yearway Sports Volleyball. I've been playing my whole life to a professional level. I'm so excited. Let's see how good my accuracy is. Yeah! I got one! Ooh! Ah! Yay! Ah! Good try. Ah! Serving is pretty hard. With some coaching, I can definitely do it. Ah! So She's got athletic ability, so I think we're gonna do pretty well. So let's start with some passing, yeah? All the power is coming from your legs. The booty on the stool, come back up. Anything I tell her to do, she applies it, and she's not afraid to try and fail. Beautiful. Whoa! Now I'm moving on to serving. The hardest skill. <laughs> Use those muscles. Beautiful. Hand in the middle. Even though my first attempts could still use some work, I feel like after trying all the sports before this, I'm starting to learn skills quicker. Talk. Oh, that was so beautiful. Ooh, ooh. Yes, go. Oh! oh yeah. Now we're gonna move on to hitting. So much power. Just try to hit it over the net. I'm very nervous for the test, but I learned a lot. I don't see any reasons why she wouldn't be able to pick this sport up and be really good at it. Yeah! yeah. And finally, it's time to put everything I learned to the test. Oh, oh, beautiful! Oh no! Yes! Oh no! Yes! Four out of five! Test. I'm very, very nervous about serving. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, so close! I didn't make any over the net, but that was pretty good. Final task: hitting. Oh. 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 Her power is amazing. I'm super happy with the improvement she made. I had a blast playing volleyball and I really, really want to do it again. Move on to the next sport. I'm super excited about today's sport, archery. And this is my coach, Coach McKay. I've been a coach for about 29 years. Oh One of gosh. my archers many years ago went on to win the bronze medal in Beijing. Wait till you see me shoot. Do you get a bullseye today? No. I'm going to get a bullseye today.
So you want to have equal weight on both feet all the time. Knees locked. Core tight, chest down, hips down and forward. Down and forward. I don't want to move anymore. So you're pushing really hard here. Try to make a T with your body. Have the string right in front of your eye. I'm so glad archery doesn't involve anything physical, but there's so much more skill that goes into it that makes it just as challenging. And off we go. Pulling arrows, you're going to look behind you. If you just pull out an arrow, you could really hurt somebody. Behind. On the small target that's going to be put up, you need to get all your arrows inside the inner red ring. This is even smaller than the red. You have to get all your arrows in here. In here? No. Oh. Okay. I hit it on a paper. It's up in the black ring. Oh. I got it in the tiny blue. Three, four, five, six. Miss, 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 miss. I started to get the hang of the technique, but I could still use some improvement. I did not make it. I'm not going to give up because archery is all about the positive. Four. One. And then MM. Look at you. You're so fast on the math. <laughs> we added this little red thing to help me shoot better. This is called a sight. When you aim, put this little dot here in the center of the yellow. Ooh. Oh. Let's try it again. We move the sight up. After adjusting the sight, it became a lot easier. <gasps> Getting close. The sight is working and I feel great. <sighs> Okay, pretty good. <gasps> Yay! Okay. I see a lot of blue. See it, I got a red. My favorite part, numbers. Seven, six, six, four. And a miss. We don't look at that one. 49 points. Good improvement. Yeah. That is awesome. I love archery. It's so fun. And I love that. It's very positive. Working with my coach was amazing. She's great. Archery Training Center in Austin, Texas. You did great. Yay. You did really great. Now I'm ready for the next sport. The next sport is golf. This is my golf coach, Brent. I've been golfing for like five years. Let's hope my experience, I can give it to her. The first test is seeing how far I'm going to hit the ball. I'm going to go for the big boy. This is the one. Ooh. <laughs> Redo. If you've never played golf before, it's actually pretty difficult to hit the ball. <laughs> it rolled down the hill for some distance. For having no tee, she did pretty good. What's a tee? Yeah. Oh. That's why I didn't hit it well. Yeah. Okay. Even trying to put the ball straight was hard. This is awful. Come on. Yay! One out of five. And I didn't even realize I was using the wrong club. So I made one. Out of ten. I'm not feeling too good about this. I'm actually surprised she made one considering she wasn't using a putter. Might be a pitching wedge. We're going to go onto a golf course. I have to hit from that blue ball all the way to that green flag. This is a par three. You have to hit it in under three shots. I don't think that's happening. Oh! Oh, that went pretty far. Woo! Hit number three. Ooh. Hit number three. Ah, yeah. I think I need to switch things. I still don't know what the putter looks like. Oh, it has a P on it. And let's see the putter. Her second shot was really good. Putting is an issue. She still didn't grab the putter. She grabbed the pitching wedge. Overall, not horrible. We just got to clean up the green. Number 10. No. Number 11. Are you joking? Number 12. Woo! Hopefully I improve after this. That was a little embarrassing. Whoa! Slip your pinky under your pointer finger and then interlock. Keep your eye on the ball. Go through like that. After my coach's tip, I could already see my swing improving. Wow, Michelle! I'm ready for the first test. Let's go, Michelle! Right down the middle! I'm so proud of you. All right, time to move on to the second test. We're going to grab your putter. They're flat. That's what was hiding. Line it up and then just tap the ball. Whoa! See? It's just like a little tap. A little bit of time. See? There oh, you go. Yay. Perfect! Ah! It's time for the second test. And the last time I only got one in. That's all I have to try and beat. She's using the right club, so I feel very confident. The GoPro! Dang it! No! Nope. This is not looking so good! No! And a number 10. Nope. Maybe I didn't improve too much for putting, but now I know what club to use. Maybe she just needs to use the five iron on the green. Time for the last test. Yeah. Oh, so close to green. Perfect, Michelle. Hopefully I can make it under 12 shots. Nice, Michelle. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Shot number six. Yes. Yay! 
She went from a 12 to a 6. You got a triple bogey. Triple bogey. I think it's time to move on to the next sport. And the next sport is football. And today, I have Coach Bo. Hi, everyone. I play football professionally in Europe. I'm originally from Serbia. Cool. I played all my life. I started when I was three years old. I have zero experience with football. We're finally at our last sport, so let's see if I can learn this one the best. We're going to start right here, inside, outside. You'll pass it to me. Once you get the ball back, you're going to go right here. Do the dribble huh? and finish with the shot. <laughs> okay, Coach Rowe is going to rate each skill out of five. I think I'll be happy with eight. This is only my first attempt and I feel like I'm trying to learn five different skills that I've never done before. Oh God. <laughs> don't touch, don't touch, pass. <laughs> and then ooh, ah, dribble, dribble, <laughs> and shoot. So I actually made it into the goal, but it felt like it was going in slow mode. The first part of the drill, I'll okay. give you a three on that one. Pass, not so great. I'll give you two on that one. Dribble was more of a dance. So that's a zero. Let's go with one. Ended with a shot. It ended up with the goal, so two. Eight! What's the goal for the end? I'm hoping to at least pass, so 14. We're gonna do ball control. Inside of the foot, outside. You'll pass it to me, and you'll get the ball back and control it. All right, let's do this. Inside and there you outside. Go. Oh my goodness, this is actually really hard. We're gonna do that passing. Nice. Let's do the control. Not too bad. You wanna pass with it inside of your foot. This way. Let's do this one more time. This is really fun. I didn't know there's so many little techniques that go into football. I thought I just go like. So, dribble. You're gonna go over the ball, shift your body weight, and then go to the right side. Over and go. Exactly. We're just gonna do it while you're running. Psych! There you go. <laughs> Ready to learn the shooting? You're gonna use this bone here to shoot the ball. Whoa! Right. Does it still work if I have a bunion? Not too bad. I think shooting is definitely the hardest skill. She's doing great. She's controlling. She's doing proper touches. I feel like we can get to 14 points. Out of all the sports football, it's the most fun. American football! <laughs> I'm still traumatized. <laughs> Time for the final test! <laughs> oh! Psych! A kick! Whoa! That was really Woo! good. Better than I expected. So Woo! proud of you. So the first part, that was really good. I'm gonna rate you three. The pass, it went directly between the cones. No less than five for this. That was that was perfect. Dribble, right now you were dancing properly like a real football player. I'll give you a four on that one. Oh! Get to that shot. No fear. And it went right into the top corner. A good five for that. <gasps> For the people watching, where should we find you? Follow Martinu Soccer on uh, Instagram. Well, thank you for coaching me. And I guess that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Bye. I had so much fun filming this video. Each sport brought its own challenges, but I'm shocked by the progress I made in each one. Don't hesitate to try something new because you never know what hidden talents and passions you might discover. I'm going to attempt a field goal. Well, I don't want to try that again. My toes hurt. <laughs>